Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be going over how to install LSPDFR to your Grand Theft Auto 5 PC version. Unfortunately, uh, if you came looking for um, Xbox or even PlayStation, uh, it's not available um, for either console. However, it is available for the Xbox 360 as far as I know. Um, but the PC version is what I'm going to be going over today. And just to go over a couple things, I have Windows 10. Um, I know some of you might have Windows 8. Some, I, I know they're stopping uh, compatibility with Windows 7, but some of you may still have it. But I am going to be showing you how to install this with Windows 10. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, open up my folders. I've got both Grand Theft Auto here. I did not uh, do a fresh install. Um, just because I have to repair it, but I figured I might as well just go over how to install the cars um, and mods and LSPDFR itself. So this is my Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Uh, as you can see, I have it through Steam. Um, so if you have it through Steam, you're going to go to your uh, drive where you installed Steam. You're going to go to your x86 program files. You're then going to go to Steam, Steam apps, common and then open Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, I used to have it, uh, the retail version, which included nine CDs, uh, plus inserting the original CD. Um, however, I lost it when I moved. Um, so I decided to buy the retail, uh, the Steam version instead. So, um, if you have the Steam version, great. Uh, if you have the retail version, it pretty much carries over. You just have to find where uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is on your uh, on your hard drive. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it's an x86, and then it would be Rockstar Games Social Club. You know, it'll, you'll have the folder for Grand Theft Auto 5 in the x86 program files. But lo and behold, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, so we've got my downloads here. I went ahead and. Uh, unpacked all of uh, the zip files just to streamline things um, so first things first uh, you're gonna see where uh, you see the LSPDFR 044 setup all you're gonna have to do is just click on this it'll say do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device obviously you're gonna want to click yes and then it'll unpack the data and then it'll pop up with a screen to where you can download uh, actually LSPDFR onto your Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, so it'll just give you these options. You're just gonna wanna click next. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that it is going to the correct drive. And as you can see here, uh, my Grand Theft Auto 5 is set to the E drive. So I am in the correct spot. You're always going to want to make sure that's in the correct spot because I have done that myself where I install GTA onto another drive and I go to install LSPDFR and it's not seeing where Grand Theft Auto 5 is automatically and I download it to the wrong game and I have to basically restart from the beginning. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click install. It's going to do its thing and then it'll say this it'll say completing LSPD first or res first response setup um, so then you're just gonna click launch LSPD first time or first response first time configurator I do it every time just to be sure uh, it'll pop up with this little uh, application here you're just gonna click next it'll say please accept the rage plugin hook license you're just gonna click show license it'll pop up with this screen uh, it's basically saying that the software is as is and it's not limited to the impl implied warranties of merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose. Um, it's the legal jargon that they have to go through. Um, so you're just going to click accept. Change settings. Um, we the, the application says we recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all plugins to load at startup. You're just going to click do it for me. That basically disables uh, the Rage plugin hook uh, version name when you're actually in game. Um, so and then it'll once you say once you click that, it'll say LSPDFR has been installed successfully. You're just gonna click OK, and then we're gonna move on to the next part, which is I'm going to install a few mods, and then this is going to be a series of videos where I go through 
uh, each section, if you will. Like uh, I'll install LSPDFR and then I'll install Rage Plugin Hook um, because you always want to make sure that you have an external version of Rage Plugin Hook just in case uh, the developers for LSPDFR don't have the current version of Rage Plugin Hook. That is very important. You want to make sure you have the most ver recent version of Rage Plugin Hook. Um, and then after after this video, it'll probably be uh, cars. I'll show you how to install cars. Then I'll show you how to install weapons um, and visual files for those of you who who want to know how to do that. Um, so just stick around for that, and uh, we'll we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, so like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and, and install Rage Plugin Hook. Um, I can tell you right off the bat, you're not going to need this SDK folder that is for developers only. So if you are not a Rage Plugin Hook developer, you will not need that. Um, so basically from this point on, you're going to click and drag all of these folders to Grand Theft Auto 5. And then since I already have all this installed, it's going to say that I have files with the same names. So you're just going to click replace the files. If you do, great. If you don't. That's fine too. Um, and then from there, that's pretty much it. You can run Rage Plugin Hook. So you can you can run vanilla, quote unquote, vanilla LSPDFR as is right now. Um, and you are welcome to go ahead and pause the video and try it uh, just to make sure that your compu computer can handle it. Uh, I know my old computer could not handle it um, to an extent. Um, so. I will go ahead and install uh, one or two uh, callouts. So we're going to go ahead and install uh, simple callouts. So you're going to click simple callouts, then you're going to click this folder here. And um, if you are not tech savvy, uh, like I was when I first started modding LSPDFR, you're going to want to read the README. It's always important, even even though I am pretty good at, well, pretty experienced at this uh, at this point. I still tend to read the readmes just to double check that I'm doing the right thing. Um, but anyways, you're going to go to these plugins folder, the LSPDFR and plugins folder. You're just going to click and drag that over to Grand Theft Auto 5. And since I did not have that mod previously, I now have it now. And we'll go ahead and install, let's see, we will install Traffic Policer. So you're going to want to click that main folder. You're going to want to open this. Uh, none of this really matters. Uh, you just want to click Grand Theft Auto 5. And this is the... All these files right here are the files that you need to transfer over to uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. So once again, you're going to want to click and drag and move over to Grand Theft Auto 5. And it'll uh, copy all these items. Again, I had this mod previously. So... I'm just going to replace the files in the destination, it's going to do its thing, and that's that. So if you guys will stick around to the next video, I will go ahead and install the rest of my callouts, and uh, we will move on to cars, and then after that we will move on to weapons. So stay tuned, and uh, we will be back shortly.